okay guys welcome back to part 2 of my series on Ubuntu 10.10 .10. and uh, today we'll s learn how to set up the compass fusion because when we talk about Ubuntu it's always about compass well at the beginning that is because most of them are attracted to Ubuntu because of its compass fusion so we'll learn how to install it and set it up there are three ways of installing it one is through the terminal and uh, the other through synaptic package manager over here and the third will be thr through the Ubuntu software center so the easiest way I would say this time is not uh, Ubuntu software center but the synaptic package manager so you go to synaptic package manager it will prompt you for your password you put in your password then this window will show up so here you will type in the search box cc sm so uh, these two options will show up simple ccsm is a very simple config config uh, settings manager and it's easy to set up so we'll mark that for installation and it will ask if you want to uh, mark the other one as well and these are also the dependencies which you'll need so we'll mark those two and to install we'll hit apply when you hit apply it will see it will show you uh, what has to be done so you will hit apply it will install and you can do the same using the terminal and uh, i will show you how to install any app via the terminal and it is sudo apt-get install and you type in the name suppose uh, like now we wanted ccsm and you hit enter that time it will install but um, uh, this is uh, a much more well what you'd call a professional way but uh, it's not that user friendly and it's not required so you won't need that after doing that we'll close the synaptic packet manager because you don't need it anymore and see this green box shows that uh, we have installed it you go to system administration i mean sorry preferences and you'll find the compass config settings manager and the simple one so for this uh, tutorial i'll show you with the simple one i'll show you the complex one too in this tutorial as well so it has ultimate selected at first it will be default or advanced so you go to ultimate and click the right uh, tick mark over here so it will take some time to apply then you can edit it even more like you can enable animations I hit random you can uh, if you prefer any one of these you can hit because when you open the wobbly window which is also there go to FX uh, you can uh, choose any of these switches which comes in handy a lot and to switch you will hit alt plus tab and uh, it goes like this you can change it to ring switcher and I'll show you one more thing uh, I'll, sh I'll open a, another window just to show you how this works so we'll do it like this so it switches it's, it comes in handy that's it you can choose the desktop cube and to view the desktop cube you'll hit the super key uh, or the windows key plus E and it will show up this expo you can choose uh, the number of windows you want to see and the number of rows so if I select 4x4 four four, it will become like this but you won't need that much make sure the desktop columns should be at least 4 so that you can do the cube effect and the 3d cube is by pressing ctrl plus alt and the mouse button the uh, left click the mouse button. Now we'll close this, but uh, uh, if you do it at the same time, uh, you might not find the same effect because I've installed Compass once and uh, that's why I have some default effects. So we'll go to the uh, other complex one, which is the first one Compass Config Settings Manager. We'll go to uh, you'll select all the animations which you want. We'll hit animations the water effect and so 
and you go to desktop cube you hit desktop cube and uh, it'll have some options behavior the speed speed of which you want it to rotate and uh, things like that go to appearance and sky drum the sky drum is actually like at first when you install you'll find that the background is completely black it's just blank and now you'll see uh, something like the earth in my background so that's this you go you click here you go to that file which you want so i'll install this and and it's done and you'll also have to hit animate sky drum or else it'll look pretty simple i'll show you it'll look just like this this is good but not that fun okay it's your choice new you can put uh, an image on the top as well by choosing this you go back oh and one more thing sorry uh, you sh you can uh, opacity you can adjust it uh, when rotation and it's completely opaque uh, it's not that good it's better when it's done the appearance and behavior i'll go back and uh, we'll go to rotate cube rotate cube because uh, when you s uh, turn the cube around you'll find it that the cube is too close so you'll increase the zoom if i put it over here it'll be uh, and this is much better but at default it'll be somewhere like this i believe uh, it's like this right in your face so that's not nice we keep it over here and uh, this is kind of fun you can work around over here you can choose whichever you want and uh, uh, you can have fun uh, just play around with the preferences and all you'll get a hold of it and thank you for watching more videos coming soon and comment rate and subscribe please thank you